didn't see it all, but what I saw depicted it very well. Yeah. How far away did you get? You said you wanted to get like 13. We were 18 miles away from the bomb exploded. Oh, so you got it. Okay. But the amendment now, we got the bomb here and it goes like this, and we turned around and went like this. So that's how you got 18 miles. And then you took a walk like this, too. Yes, sir. Sir, did y'all have uh, protective I can't hear you. Will you speak up? Did y'all have protective uh, goggles to look at the flash? We had that bit. The Weller's goggles turned to extinction. And then what was your first impression when you saw that flash? That was a hell of a big explosion. Which is what it was. We, I have to tell you another story about it. We tested this. This was the first time this bomb had ever been tested. The U-235. We had a, one U-235 and one U-235. Two days before, we gave Chuck Sweeney both bombs, the ignition point of it, told him to take them up to 30,000 feet and drop them over the ocean. And they all, we had big cameras out there, a big group of doctors all trained on it and everything else. Neither one of them worked. Neither one worked. I would have bet money that day under any conditions that one would have been a dozen. And everything else. But it worked. Thank God it did work and that sort of thing.
let's face it. You drop bombs, you're going to kill people. That is the purpose of war. If you are, don't have the guts to fight a war and kill the people and win the war that you are worth to win, you are a pretty stupid man. We kill a lot of people when we drop that ball. Both they were in the area and Agnes actually. But we in total didn't save a lot of people that would have been killed if we had invaded Japan. If we had invaded Japan. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate it. If you have any other questions, I'll be up here for you.